All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> I posted the the season update, which is insane. It is, and we're gonna kind of check out my uh, the comments in here and just kind of see what people have been saying. So there's a few of these I kind of already saw, but um, so the like the overall consensus is, is like to me, I think there's a lot of really good things that they did in the the season. If you want to check out the video, please go check it out. I'll link it out in the bottom of this one. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's, um, there's a lot of, a lot of good things on here that I think are really, really important and a huge step forward. So, but you let me know down in the comments, but we're going to re kind of react to some of these comments because my wonderful community in chat told me that, uh, there's some people on here with some very crazy things that they have said. So, um, uh, the seasonal theme seems to be meh. But the new bosses, target loot farming, and all the quality of life changes has definitely got me excited to play again. This is really good. I just wish if I knew Uber Uniques had a chance to drop anywhere, or is it just specific bosses? It is specific bosses. Um, it's actually really only one boss, which is actually kind of funny. But yeah. Nice changes. D4 saved. Love that. <clears throat> Always good content. Thank you. Hopefully inventory gets fixed in a couple seasons, he says. This dude is giving them too much credit for improvements. <laughs> It's good that they add end game content, but there's still a place for a lot more. Yes, this is true. Um, he follows my tornado bill, which is really crazy. Um, it's a good start, but way too far to save Diablo. There's still a lot of work done. I don't disagree with this. I think that's very important. Item creep, new bosses, not enough. Uh, Blizzard should change the name <laughs> to Diablo 4 Season 2 Season of Fixes and Missing Features. Oh, my God. Richard. <laughs> Jeez, man. People are cutthroat on here, dude. Uh, do I have to make a new character? Yep, we already saw that. Let's get down to some of the more juice one. Reskin mobs. We already said this. This is true. Uh, man, if D4 came back, my boy Keys, that would be crazy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This is the nuts one right here, man. Nothing about this saves D4. Streamers are literally going to stream there. Literally slow rolling the quality of life from D2 and D3 and calling it content. This is like saying the game that came out, the beta saves the game. No, we're just getting closer to a completed game you already paid for, and you're going to be paying double or triple the cost as a re and being a beta tester as a reward. Dang, that hurts, man. We're saying thanks, Blizzard, for pulling out the dagger halfway they placed in our back in the first place, but progress is being made, LOL. Uh, he said, uh, look, enjoy what you enjoy, but let's not play stupid. Dang, dude. I'm going to heart that. <laughs> That's so bad. All right, Fart Smucker. How is this game saved? No amount of quality of life will fix lack of content, crafting, functional trade, and economy other than just gold, build diversity, and items that you have to use for your build. As the devs laid out, your builds for you are with the retarded aspect system and uniques doing the same thing one skill at a time. I mean, he's kind of got a point here. What do you guys think? Uh, where's the challenge? I mean, they said that Daryl is going to be, is going to be a challenge, but you still need to be able to defeat Daryl for the drops. So it's not going to be as strong as Lilith to where you just die because you have to be able to farm the items to get her. So, okay, Homer. <laughs> so replacing Malignant Hearts with similar vampire skills and still no real end game content. Well, it's just a reskin of season one. I'll pass. Well, yes and no. I will say that the vampire seasonal stuff is just malignant hearts all over again. This is true. This is true. But no real end game. Maybe maybe real end game, but the the stuff that they're adding for end game is actually really good. That graph I showed you in the previous video of having to do certain end game activities which then drop you items that you can use to go unlock and fight the five end game bosses. This is really reminiscent of end game content that normally happens in ARPGs. For example, Path of Exile, you got to go through quest lines and get drops to fight bosses in Uber bosses. Then in like, <clears throat> excuse me, in uh, Last Epoch, you have to go through and complete the web of the Echoes. Okay, so that way you can build up enough corruption and build up enough points to be able to fight the Echo boss. So. This is, this is very much the same thing, and it actually gives more purpose to some of the endgame content. Now, as far as real endgame content, there's always 
always room for more. But so I'm going to split hairs with you here, uh, Josh Showers. I'm going to split hairs. Clickbait, you should get banned for that. Yes, I should, I guess. Yeah, keep dreaming. Okay. Uh, let's see. Big dang, it's not clickbait. Where in his title or talk is clickbait? You should really look into learning what cl clickbait means and understanding that if he is stating his opinion on the dev stream and the information that was given, it seems likely that they have made so many big changes that might bring the player, player base back is a huge deal for us players. Yes, yes. Thank you. So true. So true. All right, this one's long. We got to see what this one says. Like, we got to see what this one says, guys. How does this save anything game? Wait. How does this save anything? Game still bad. No disrespect to you or your channel. Your druid build was awesome, but they nerf everything into the ground and killed the game. No end game in all build do to nerfs can't do half shit they could. My 100 druid, my 100 druid level 100. What? My druid level, my 100 druid level 100 was doing T50, T50 runs after nerf. Can't even do T30s. So I'd say the game is still trash. I have every other tune level 80 plus and there is, and, and their damage is dog shit. They gutted most builds. Only thing viable is druid and rogue and they are pretty bad at, and gear dependent. Blizzard don't care about us. They're just here for money and the uh, fan base. Verily 3, 4, 34 on Xbox was in the thousands. They killed the own game and it's a waste. Okay, who responded? Jeff. This doesn't sound like the game sucks. <laughs> this doesn't sound like the game sucks. Gaming Rage, you said that? <laughs> you said this? You're not Jeff. Are you Jeff? That's so funny. This doesn't sound like it. Oh, no, the clickbait? Yes, thank you. I figured. Thank you. Uh, man, so... Uh, <laughs> there's actually a lot of, like, hilarious comments on here. Um, I think... I think there's some... I think there's some very harsh critics on here, and I know I've been very harsh in the past when it comes to... Uh, Diablo 4 because of how much I love the game. So again, I want to preface for the end game content because that's to me out of everything that happened in this video that I'm going to link in the description below. Everything that happened in this video is it's a lot of steps in the right direction. There's a lot of good, very good quality of life things that I think over time we will really appreciate. For example, the amount of stash space that's going to be everywhere, or not stash space, but stashes that are going to be everywhere, like moving the, uh, oh, like the, your, your like blood shards person, like these are putting the occultist in every town, adding two portals, like the direct teleportation into nightmare dungeons, the horse, gotta love the horse that that's being fixed for me personally. So like, there's a lot of small quality of life stuff that I think is great. But when it comes to end game content, I even think that this is probably the biggest takeaway from the entire stream because even if you had those quality of life changes with no real direction towards end game, you don't have anything for players to do. Because again, as soon as you hit this point here at 50, as soon as you hit 50, maybe 60, like you're just done. You're just done. And now that we have a direct end game or at least a start of one in focuses that you can do along with the power creep and items. Like, I think that's a good start. Like, and I'm trying to be objective here, not just my hate for them basically killing the game, but, or not hate. I should just say like, I, you know, the, the strong disappointment for them destroying the game. But I think these are very good steps in the right direction. Uh, and I'm really glad that they kind of pulled a theme from other ARPGs, which makes perfect sense right like you do tree of whispers right like you would do maps or go do certain activities to get the item drop to fight maven in path of exile it's the same thing here so you're going to complete whispers to get a drop to fight echoes of arshan so and these are all similar hell ties for grigor nightmare dungeons for the beast right world bosses plus legion events you got to get two items to go fight Zer, and then you have to do hell tides whispers fight each of the bosses to get the drops to fight Dario, which is the big end game boss besides Lilith. 
So now you have a lot of different things that you can do. And the fact that they buffed Helltides, they buffed Nightmare Dungeons for EXP and mob density. They severely buffed Whispers. And they increased the times that the world bosses and Legion events spawn in order to get the stuff to fight Xur. So like these are very good steps in the right direction. You know, very good steps. You have to give credit where credit is due to a degree. But, you know, like there's still a lot of fixes. We got a big dev stream on the 10th, which I think is great. Uh, and we're going to find out the re they need to spend a lot of time on the resistance system. And then we really need to know what some good class balancing is. They stated that they are going to be that they are changing basically every single legendary aspect. So everything's like getting a complete re rework. So that could mean buffs and nerfs. Hopefully it's all buffs. So that way we can really feel the power that we want because that was a major focus in the dev stream yesterday. So I just want to elaborate on that. But checking out these comments is great. Like there's still some people that are still a little sour, but I think if you take away that aspect and just be objective about the game, these are some good steps in the right direction with a lot of work to be done okay i'm excited for season two i cannot state that enough and it looks like generally besides a few salty people that generally people are kind of like they're hopeful they're hopeful they're optimistic there are a lot of hopefullys in here and there's some people that are like really excited about stuff so this was really really cool guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i didn't want it to go on for too long make sure to like the video comment down below what do you guys think about uh you know what the community is talking about it's really great to see people comment on my videos and really engage with you guys so please do that some more like comment don't forget to forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace